Yes, I am. Good morning. It's Tammy with Real Southern Woman and Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. This morning, we are headed out on the other side of the county uh, because my cousin wants us to go look at a property. And um, he has a biscuit company called Biggins Biscuits. So yes, our family is a biscuit just love biscuits. Anyway, um, he's my first cousin, Mark. It's a restaurant. It's a restaurant, Biggins Biscuits, Mark Sullins. We're in Paulding County. We're going out there this morning to work, but I thought while we were out, I could read the Bible study because I have it on my Kindle and I didn't get to do it last night, so I thought we would do it this morning. Good morning. Yes, we're up early. I stayed up to one o'clock. So, I didn't get enough sleep. Okay. Let's see what it says this morning. How about it? It says, March the 16th. Today's the 16th, y'all. It says, Divinely Reasonable. Uh, this comes out of Proverbs 21, verse 30. And this is an amplified version, which is one of my favorite things, which is just the King James Version, kind of like an extension uh, explaining the dictionary meaning of the words a little bit. It says, There is no human wisdom or understanding or counsel that can prevail against the Lord. That's Proverbs 21.30. It says, At times, God will direct you to do things that do not seem logical, but He doesn't require you to understand His will. He only asks that you obey it even if it seems unreasonable. For example, throughout Israel's history, the Lord called his people to depend on him rather than make military alliances. From the human standpoint, this made no sense, especially since Israel's army was so weak. But God saw each and every battle as an opportunity to reveal himself to the world. And whenever he supernaturally delivered Israel, their enemies would fear him. So it says, likewise, the Lord may lead you to do something that, humanly speaking, is counterintuitive. What you have to decide is, whose understanding do I trust more, mine or God's? Remember that common sense may not be enough to judge your situation. And you probably do not have all of the facts, at least not like he does. So don't lean on your own understanding. Trust the Lord's wisdom, which never fails, and do as he asks. Charles Stanley has a little uh, prayer at the end, and his prayer today is, Lord Jesus, I do not understand your wisdom and your ways, but I acknowledge that yours are far greater than mine. I will trust and obey. Amen. So, I hope y'all have enjoyed that this morning. A little tidbit to get you started on your day. And we all know Proverbs is full of good nuggets to teach us how to live our lives the correct way. Um, you want to say anything about it, Chris? Got anything you want to add? No, he never wants to add anything. I can't improve on Proverbs, what it said. Yeah. Because we both get a drink of our coffee. It's early. we got to have our coffee in the morning, right? So, I hope y'all have enjoyed that little nugget. And that is the truth. I'm trying to remember if God's ever told me to do something that just didn't make any sense. Most of the time... The only time God really tells me to do something is if I need to apologize to somebody, which does make sense, or if I need to give somebody something, or stop and give somebody some money, or just call somebody, tell them I love them, or give them a hug. And all those things make sense to me, so um, I guess I can't really say. You Most know, people think what the Bible tells them to do doesn't make sense anyway, like giving you know, giving doesn't make sense to people, you know. So, 
half the stuff that it tells us to do that people that people don't do or don't want to do, don't you know, they don't do it because it doesn't make sense. Oh, well, I know one thing. When we give to the Lord, we do much better financially. And when we don't give, something always tears up, or somebody gets sick, or something happens, so we get it some kind of way. Um, so I know from our experiences, it makes a lot of sense to give. Um, but the only time I remember is when Chris lost his job in Trenton. That was really hard for us. We didn't really understand what in the world God was doing. Um, because we really liked it there. We wanted to raise our kids there. That's Trenton, Georgia, up in the northwest corner of Georgia. Um, but he brought us here, and I'm glad he did. Um, and we've been here since 2002 in Paulding County, Georgia. So, you know, that didn't make a lot of sense to me why he would take us out of such a good place for the kids to be raised. But... They got a good education, and they're both in the magnet program, and um, it worked out, didn't it, Chris? I love it here where we live. I do. Um, so I can't say, I can't complain. We are about to stop at the post office and mail a few cookbooks that people have ordered. Um, our cookbook sales are doing okay. You know, they. Uh, I'm glad people buy them. Um, our views have went way down on YouTube, so we're hoping that'll pick back up sometime. But it's not uh, regular views. It's YouTube will take one of your videos and they will kind of suggest it to people. And um, they were doing that with my Roll Biscuit video, and now they're not doing that anymore as much. So that cut down a lot because that video alone would get about what 3,000 views a day or something crazy at its peak yeah. so um, that's one reason it's dropped I know y'all probably don't care but it bothers me and Chris because we want to supplement our income for the kids to go to school so um, we're hoping that it picks back up and um, I can't think of anything else can you so I guess we're gonna go I hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful Saturday. It's cloudy here. I don't know if it's supposed to rain or not. Um, so if you'll hand me your phone, baby. Y'all like looking at his hand. So he's going into the post office. I'm gonna look and um, see who all's on here this morning. There's Neil. Hey, Neil. Be forever. Uh, Shelba. Melinda, Lisa Edmonds. Hey, Lisa. I would never get to meet you if we had, if God had brought us to Paulding County. Um, and that's um, one reason I like it here because we did join a church. We learned a lot about God. Um, they had a lot of good speakers, a lot of good preachers, a lot of good teachers, and that makes a real difference in um, you know what you learn. I mean, we've been blessed, me and Chris, to sit under some people that really taught us a lot about the Word of God. Um, I hope that y'all have a blessed day. Let's say our prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so very much for everything you do for us. Um, I sit in awe when I really s stop long enough to think about who you really are and what you have done and your creation and just everything, Lord. It's just amazing. Uh, to think that you would even give us the time of day to want to listen to us or care about what we feel or who we love and etc. It's just amazing. We thank you so very much for everything you do for us and keep us all safe and help us have a good weekend. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.